Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me either on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44, or my Facebook page, True Divine 44. Like, share, subscribe, and comment on either or both of those platforms is greatly appreciated. And much love to everybody who's done that thus far. Um, I'm putting out as much free content as I can to help support, guide, and inspire the collective and show what I can do. Um, free content mainly via tarot um so i put out as many daily energy readings as i can i've slipped a little bit this week just um my boys have been very um uh, energetic so we've had fun that way <laughs> um but i put out as many of those as i can and i put out monthly tarot readings for each sign now it because i'm picking up on a collective of the energy um the energy of the collective and translating that via tarot some of it might resonate with you some of it might not it might all resonate with you it might all not just so it's up to you to be discerning to take what helps guides and inspires you and leave the rest behind um if you want a more in-depth more precise more personal experience then you can book me and that supports my family too by um any of the details above or below this video and uh, you can get a private tower reading that is like i say very precise very um detailed specifically to you your needs your wants and your questions um so that's that's one thing you can consider um i also do energy work where i help you facilitate the energy that you have within and the energy all around you um, so that's another option that you can that you can book in with any of the details above or below this video or you can message me on Facebook Messenger and um, just put in capitals the service that you want so I can see it amongst all of the other lovely messages of support that I'm getting and thank you for those too. So this is for the month of April and it's a general tarot reading um, for the lovely sign of Pisces. I've got a daughter who's a Pisces. Um, lovely intuitive creative sign um passionate as well so but the, it's that dreamy sign that imagination they have such an imagination um, and can put things together in their head so easily and, and they can flow um when they're in the the right state of mind right balanced state of mind like us all so pisces the first card is i've laid out four cards one for each week of the month and um, then I've clarified those four cards with a further card to expand the story. So we've got this Earth Queen, um, uh, the Queen of Pentacles. So there's this um, resourcefulness about you in the first week of April, where you 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 you're in that knuckle down period actually for 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 what's going on in your life personally and what's going on um, obviously with the collective at the moment. Um, there's many people losing their heads, there's many people panicking, whereas um, for who, re who resonates with this reading, um, the Pisces that do so, there's, there's this real resourcefulness here, there's this real um, knuckling down and dealing with what cards you are dealt, so to speak, um, and really finding ways to expand those cards those that 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 spread to the optimum um to really use what you've already got and make it grow um so there's this real um strategy business like um energy around you and within you and, and you really are just getting getting shit done you know getting on with it get really knuckling down and finding a way um you've also found and and this is this is again um where there's a real separation of um people at the moment where there's this there's a, there's a certain section of people that are are in real fear um in real confusion um and in, in a conflict with themselves but again even with the the inner grounds and your spiritual self you have knuckled down and you've, you've gone to ground you've really grounded yourself with the energy of this queen um lots of you spending time wherever that may be in the world um, planting your feet in the ground and, and putting your toes into the soil or into the sand you you've known instinctively to connect with the great mother you've known instinctively to release that fearful energy to release any negative energy from your from your physical body from your spiritual self and, and release it 
into the soil, into the sand, because the Great Mother can transmute it and handle it. But you've had the wisdom as the energy of this Queen to know to do that um, and continue doing that. It's so important. Um, you feel the physical relief, the spiritual relief immediately. It's an immediate fix. So, um, but it needs to be a continuous fix. So this queen really is just knuckling down on all aspects, uh, on all levels of self um, and finding a way to not just survive, but thrive. Uh, and that's the difference. You haven't gone in, in this first week of April, you haven't gone into that tipping point of fear and confusion. You've gone into or, or survival, you've gone into, you want to thrive. You're going to find a way to make this not just be okay for you, but actually to work for you. Um, so there's lots of business-like ideas taking place. Now, it could be that that's really the, the, the mother of the family. This represents you as the mother of the family. And you've really gotten to grips with the children in the home in a very business-like manner very motherly manner but a very business managerial like manner um to to still instill some routine some structure in the days and you've worked hard to do that and or um you you have have you've been strategizing in this week and finding ways to implement things to get around barriers in order for you to survive and thrive through business, through things that will sustain you and maintain you and your family, your loved ones. Um, and again, really knuckling down, grounding yourself into that role. Um, so the first week is pretty powerful because it's clarified by, if I can get it, the Ten of Pentacles. So this knuckling down and this regular grounding of self and strategy, business-like um, energy, that you've been projecting both in in your spiritual self and with out of your physical self that is being gifted back to you in that you are gifting it back to you the energy that you've put out there comes back around to you like a boomerang but it picks up velocity it picks up extra energy on the way so you you not necessarily have put ten of pentacles out there but you've planted some seeds somewhere and you, you've you've put intent on those seeds for them to grow, for them to flourish, for them to thrive. And that energy is sent back to you tenfold in that, you know, but the, the boomerang builds up and builds up. So instead of it being two or three pentacles that you planted and have watered and nurtured and, and, and made sure that the environment was right, the place and timing was right, the light was right. Everything was right for the for the moment of harvest. Um, the harvest is coming in for you in the Ten of Pentacles. You've built that up. It's grown um, and it's done it very quickly. Now, one thing I can say about this is manifestation is very is happening very quickly right now for 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 nearly all people. I would say, you know, if not all, it, it, the manifestation process. Um, of what you put out there, what energy you put out there, what visions you project is very, very fast. And so in your position in the first week of April, this really works because the, the visualization, the strategy, the strategy um, mindset, the, the, the business like very one dot after the other, you know, one, two, three list to do list, getting it done. Um, working hard to do so um, your manifestation has been very very quick in that I don't even think you expected this to show up in your life this ten of pentacles this this material success this material alignment this material sustainability to happen quite so quick so even that is a nice surprise it's a bit of a shock but a nice shock um, and that's just to pay mind to that, that right now, um, many people are, are projecting either um, positive things like this to, to make this situation somehow work for them, somehow open up opportunities that weren't there before, um, just going around barriers rather than getting blocked by these barriers. There's other energy, uh, people people are putting out other energy of real fear and confusion. And again, 
that manifestation is happening just as fast. So they are getting theirs back tenfold just as fast. So you being in this queen energy, in this queen of pentacles energy and knowing how important it is to um, project what you want to come back to you, what you want to grow, what you want to flourish, what you want to be able to harvest is a very powerful place for you to be in the first week of April. So the second week, Pisces, we have the Earth Princess. So again, it's about the pentacles. Um, and this is news. This is news about um, about business, uh, very much so for a lot of you, um, about the, this Ten of Pentacles, what this represents. Um, of course, the Ten of Pentacles can represent an inheritance and... I would say that it might be one or two of you or more, but not very many, have, may have a loved one that has passed on and um, that inheritance has been passed to you. If that is the case and you are the queen, whether male or female, um, or the queen that is embodying the energy of this queen and you do get inheritance passed to you, know that it's been done so because you were recognised by this person as somebody who won't squander, who won't waste the opportunity of of the inheritance that this person built up in order to be able to give, um, the hard work that they put in, the 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 the, the knuckling down that they put in over the years to create this inheritance. So know that this is yours because you've already shown to that person who loved you, who respected you, that you are um strong enough um grounded enough and had have enough wisdom to not to not waste the hard work that they put in to they know that you will grow this and you will do good things with this so just know and accept that gift um with a grateful heart but also accept it with the labels I don't like labels, but with the, the energy that this person who left you this inheritance put towards you in that respect and they saw who you were, they saw that you were the business-like motherly energy who just gets things done um, and is fair um, and compassionate, but, you know, very much um, solid, solid, solid energy, a, tr a trustworthy energy. So just accept that gift with that loving heart and, and know that you are worth it and you deserve it and um, it was given to you because you've already attained those things. You've already attained that respect in that person's eyes. So for the second week, as I was saying, this Princess of Pentacles, this um, Page of Pentacles in the traditional deck, um, there's news coming in and it might be that there's further news regarding that inheritance. Now, some of you might have a little bit of a sticky situation if that is involving you, if that part of the reading resonates with you and that some people might be a little bit, um, uh, you know, questionable and a little bit jealous of the fact that you've been left with such, um, such a claim by this person, that you've been left with, with, with the fruits of their labour almost um, and, and, and they don't really understand or see why because it's a little bit of a me, me, me energy. You can just rise above that. You just be the grounded queen of pentacles as you represented in the first week and you just rise above that and, and, and let that wash over you and just know everything that I've said to you before if that resonates with you, all of those attributes that that person saw in you then you you have to honour them by taking that inheritance, that gift, um, with a grateful heart and respecting how they saw you and just being thankful for the fact that they saw you that way. This does also speak to a lot of you um, using this time again in this energy of the business, like getting down to getting down to um, getting down to business energy of the pentacles in that you. Um, you you you're endeavouring to take online courses and and you you're flying through them, um, or you're thinking about it and go for it if you are. This is a very scholarly energy. This is a very hard working, methodical energy. Um, so go for it if that's the case. Now, 
it may be that there's some news that another business idea on top of what happened in the first week is is a bit out there and it is a bit different um and you're trying to find ways to approach it to to make it um be accepted into society or even accepted legally to be able to sell um and that there's maybe some obstacles there now to clarify this card the devil card came up um and it was for me that was just to remind you on that point that um the devil often represents the 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 outmoded ideals of um old constructs that really don't work anymore they just don't wash anymore and so not to give up on um, any obstacles that you might encounter with this new idea with this extra idea um, carry forward with it just hold on to it if you need to don't give up on it because it feels to me like any obstacle any old construct that might have blocked um, the flow of, of that creative endeavor um, is going to is going to fall anyway or they're going to start to change or bend the rules because they, they need to it's just not being accepted that they don't bend the rules and um, it's not being accepted by many people so there's there's pressure on these old constructs to to to, to loosen or to just give way um the devil reminds us you know that that, that that we 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 bind our chains to this energy we bind our chains to the things that might hold us back um the the addictions the obsessions the the misplaced passions um and he reminds us again about balance that you know it's a real skill in life to still be able to balance out both the light and dark of self not to ignore either one that we need to be able to dip into a both you know at the right timing in the right timing we we, we need to be able to know that it's okay to accept all of us um every aspect of us is acceptable and 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 should be recognized but we we need to be in control we need to have that self-control to balance it out and make it less dangerous when it comes to addictions and things like that you know we need to maybe think outside of the box and, and go around that obstacle a little bit and if you've got an addictive personality accept that you know and understand that and in that you can then work with it and say okay then i'm going to get into exercise i'm going to get because i know once i get into something like that i'll get obsessive about it and that'll give me my hit that'll give me my um the hit that i need of something that i do all of the time and enjoy it and get better and better and better at it or i expand it more and more and more um, so there's just the wisdom in this card to, to not ignore a, any side of us and to certainly not be um, put off and, and put another link in our chain of disappointment because of any old constructs that might be blocking our way when we're trying to bring in something new, when we're trying to infuse something um, that is new in a creative way or, or infuse new energy into something. Um, or find a different way of doing things um, the devil card reminds us to, to not bind those chains to not link put extra links in our chains of disappointment and guilt but to to, to keep going to to be this scholarly hard-working energy that doesn't doesn't give up easily you know it, it's a steady steady worker bee energy that doesn't give up gets the job done some way somehow so the third week of April 2020 is the Five of Wands. Um, the Five of Wands speaking to, um, you know, the, 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 you, the nearly there, the midpoint, the, um, this creative thing, this creative project, this, this creative business idea um, or, or course that you're learning, um, the, a new thing that you're learning about, you, you're, at a, you're at a midpoint. Um, and it's that it's that midpoint that you know you just sort of it's the hump day kind of thing that the midpoint in the week where you where you you know you're nearly there and but you want to get to the end you know you're excited to, to attain it all to to have it all to to get to the to the to the alignment to the 10 
um, and then expand back into the next cycle. You, you want to get there. Now, to clarify this card, um, is the Five of Pentacles. And to me, it speaks less of the energy of material lack and more of the fact that this hump day, this midpoint, has got you thinking a little bit in this third week about reevaluating what do you really want where do you really want to go next that this in this money this this material success came in in the first week this ten of pentacles that you have to to plant to go forward with um throughout the month especially when you um use the wisdom to use the devil energy in a way that is good for you it might you might find that this this hump day this this halfway there point gets you thinking about actually have i been too limiting regarding what i can attain here have i been too um have i been thinking too small here is there a way to expand this even more or is it better that you go in a completely different direction and so there's those questions that you're asking yourself and it might be that you're needing to cut out something, an old project or an old um, way of doing things, an old routine even that you had in, in your day that, you, that you, know, you, you did certain things here, here, there and everywhere but on set times, very structured. It might be that you're needing to cut some of that out and, and release some of this just creative, passionate energy and see where it takes you. To, to not be quite so structured in the third week of April, to be a little bit more flowing um, regarding um, where you want to go with this, what you want to do with this. Um, now, it does indicate to me as well um, that there'll be travel. Now, depending on where you live, depending on how your um, state, country, whatever, wherever it is that you live is reacting to current circumstances, it would speak to me that I would be hesitant in the three D to be saying that you're going to be there's a lot of you going to be travelling in the third week of April, but still I feel that energy of for a lot of you there is travel and there is movement, um, even plans of travel and movement, plans of maybe um, planting planting yourself somewhere a little bit different to what to what you know already to where you've been already in order to be able to plant these seeds in a very different way than you, than you had considered to be an option before if that makes sense so so that's that's interesting that's the third week um to go into the fourth week we have the the water princess so again it speaks to you do manage to release that creative energy and that more flowing energy where you've been quite fixed um in the first week and very strategic very planned out very business-like um that that mid mid month that hump day has sort of got you got you into the energy of being a bit more flowing a little bit more creative a little bit more open about the options that are there for you and where you want to to put um your energy and so this is a bit more of a, a natural state for a Pisces in that you you can live a little bit more in your dream world and that's okay. You can you can you can explore your imagination in this fourth week. Um and and it's a very intuitive week for you and it feels like home somehow again. And you you know, you you've you've done well in the rest of this month leading up to this fourth week, but you know it, it's not a natural position for you although you've done a great job at knuckling down and being that very strategic business like energy it hasn't been the most comfortable for you or you didn't realize it wasn't the most comfortable for you until you got back into your energy of the flowing waters of the creative waters of the um the womb unmanifest where anything is possible you know with that 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 dark womb where anything can be created anything can be birthed into the consciousness so you really sort of get lost a little bit in this energy in the fourth week and that's good that's really good for a lot of you because to clarify this card we have the wheel of fortune and you are trusting in the universe in this fourth week of april 
you have let go of the inhibitions you've let go of maybe the being a bit too fixed on on your trajectory of life of where you wanted to go how you wanted to do it um and now you're in this dark womb on manifest where you know you're swimming in in the endless possibilities of your creative imagination and the wheels looking after you the wheel the wheel in this reading if it resonates with you the wheels really looking after you and it's and it's in the flow rather than the ebb um you know you, you and you've been i remember and i don't know why this has popped into my head but i'm gonna say it as i do anyway but the, when i was having um my daughter who is a pisces um she was my first born um and i was young and uh, with my health complications um birth uh, the, the 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 pregnancy and the birth was pretty high risk so all the way through i was quite high risk and there was appointments every week um so i got to know the midwife i was seeing at the hospital really well very very quickly and we got on like a house on fire she was she was brilliant um and she asked me to do because we knew that my daughter was going to come very early um so she asked me to do my um birthing plan a, a, a bit earlier so that I, I was getting prepared earlier um and in the birthing plan i came in the following week and all i'd written down was just do whatever is necessary and she she looked at it and it was just one sentence uh, and you no know, music no nothing no I just this pregnancy was high risk I went through a period of fear and then I just went into this energy that I'm feeling here of just letting go uh, and 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 knowing just knowing that if I trust if I let go of this fear if I let go of of um, the danger that I have going through my head if I just let go of all of that which speaks a lot to this devil card as well um, I can trust in the universe I can trust in the energy that I'm putting out to the universe of just trust of just being knowing I would be looked after knowing I would be supported and that energy did tenfold come straight back to me I had a supportive midwife I had a supportive mother and, and I was guided through the process. And that midwife actually said to me, wow, thank you. Because I felt a bit stupid, to be honest. I was young, it was my first baby, uh, right in one sentence, but I couldn't think of anything else because I, I, I didn't want them to be limited to what their options would be in the emergency situation if my daughter wasn't well or if, if I suddenly um, took a turn for the worse. So, so to me that sentence was the safest option to just say do whatever is necessary do whatever that needs to be done to to save life to preserve life um and she said thank you because actually it, it, she explained that it, i wasn't stupid at all that in a way she wished many more would just trust in that because even the process of asking somebody especially in a high risk pregnancy or especially with the first baby um to put out a, a birthing plan it gets the mind going and the fear and the doubt and the the wondering if it's going to be okay and those motherly instincts starting to kick in for the first time of of protection of this baby that you haven't met face to face yet but that you know so well and you already want to to give your life to protect them um that that is a big ask all of these things come into your mind and 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 sometimes you manifest those things because you focus on them so much so i didn't want to focus on any of that i just wanted to let go and be in this dark womb of the universe and i know that the waters within that womb would support me and give me back the energy that I was putting out there which was trust and as I say I was sent my mum was brilliant and I was sent a midwife that was second to none she was amazing she came in on a day off to make sure Abby was born right with the cesarean section it, it was, I was given such a bond with that midwife that was above and beyond her normal role 
and that was just because I'd let go and I was trusting and I was I was given that I was given that out and I, I got that back tenfold and more and you know yes Abigail was very prim but against all odds she thrived um, and I was fine against all odds you know there was there was a rocky time but I was fine I was supported I was always taken care of and so that's where you are I don't know why I went into explaining all of that some of you might be pregnant actually and you needed to hear that some of you especially in current circumstances it might be that there's many out there that are pregnant and that needed to just even if there's just one of you out there that needed to hear that 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 is your one of your biggest capacities right now in this fourth week of April in particular to just trust not trust anything else but you because you're in trust in the universe you're trusting that the universe is going to reciprocate the energy that you put out to it it's going to send that back to you and it's going to do that fast so whatever you're putting out there you're going to get that back and when you're pregnant when you've got that baby growing inside of you it's it's such a magical time that it does i feel it does for many people if not most it ramps up that manifestation um skill set it ramps up the the energy that emits from that mother because there's there's two beings there's and there's such growth happening there's such expansion happening at such a fast rate you know that baby forms at such a fast rate compared to how we then continue to form throughout our life in the 3d um there's a speeding up of it during pregnancy i, I truly see that with pregnant mothers that i see you can see the energy around them and it's amplified and so if i have went into that whole story just to give you that just to give you that um seed of knowledge just to give you that power within self to know that you might have felt out of control coming up with that devil card and that hump day that you know you might have felt out of control um with the circumstances and now you've got this little being inside of you that's grown that you've got to protect in these circumstances maybe you just needed to hear that your greatest power right now is to just send out trust send out trust to the great mother send out trust so that it just gets reflected back to you and and all of the characters in your story pop up that that will give you that support that you'll be able to trust that you'll be able to know that you're in good hands with so so maybe you needed to hear that some of you that you that are pregnant and maybe had some worries um let's get back to some of the rest of you but interest in that flow interest in that wheel um there's a real letting go and just being creative and letting your imagination flow and make sure pisces in this fourth week just like i've explained about that big pregnancy story um make sure that you're just projecting unlimited unbound um imagine it imagination and visualization of what world you want to create for you how you want your world to look in coming up into me how how you want your world to start forming and because it's so powerful this, this these two cards right here the power that's in them if they resonate with you this is a very powerful time for you to get back into the role that you're so comfortable with with that imagination with the waters with the flowing um, and the connection through all the waters you know within us and outside of us and, and getting into that place that you can get into of imagination and visualization make damn sure that you are visualizing exactly how you want your world to look exactly how you want the universe to reflect energies back at you what energies do you want to flow back to you so picture the waves on the sea you know that they come they come into the beach and they go out and there's that energy of flow back and forth back and forth and that's basically what we're doing all of the time 
we're projecting out we're sending out that energy and that energy is getting sent right back to us but with extra velocity because as every time it flows back and forth it builds up and builds up and builds up so that's what you're doing in the fourth week of april which is a very long way to tell you that that's what you're doing but a lot of you needed to hear different aspects of that um explanation of the fourth week of april so pisces pretty awesome awesome month for you especially towards um the back end of the month uh create your world how you want it to look um know that you have limitless possibilities and um you, you're not bound to any limitations any labels nothing that not any, any conditions and, and conditioning that might have gone on in the past it's washed away now that you're on a blank slate now so manifest the world that you want to live in um, and see how fast that comes back at you and get back to me and let me know how that goes because I'll be super excited to hear from some of you Pisces um, as to how how your world is starting to look and how it's starting to build up around you um, with it coming into me that would be really interesting for me so thank you if you do send that in advance thank you uh, again you can get a private reading like I said at the start of the video by um, booking with any of the details above or below this video depending on where you're watching it uh, we can do some energy work if you like you can message me about both of those on Facebook Messenger um, uh, if not please like share subscribe and definitely comment love the comments um, much love be balanced go create Pisces be whole